I don't like to dwell in the past. I love to live in the moment and look towards the future. Sometimes, though, remembering our past and sharing it helps us and many others to learn and grow. So that is why I feel inclined to share with you the story of my past, the story of how I came to be me. When I was nine years old, I broke my shoulder being pulled up a mountainside. It was the day after Christmas. Several weeks later, I broke the same shoulder again, and so my parents took me to a specialist. After taking some x-rays, Dr. Borgsmiller announced that I had a unicameral bone cyst in my left humerus, which made my bone eggshell thin. Lying atop my growth plate, it presented a real threat to the growth of my arm, and so surgery was scheduled. Two weeks before my 10th birthday, I underwent my very first surgery. My parents and Dr. Borgsmiller were hopeful, considering that two out of three times the surgery was successful, and so I couldn't wait to be back to normal. Three months after my surgery, I broke my shoulder again, this time playing basketball with friends. Dr. Borgsmiller once more took x-rays. My parents were devastated when he told them the surgery had failed. For the first time in my life, I realized that my parents couldn't solve every problem that came their way. That knowledge itself terrified me. A month before my 11th birthday, I had a second surgery. We were hopeful again, only to discover that this time also, the surgery was unsuccessful. With tears in his eyes, Dr. Borgsmiller proclaimed that there was nothing more he could do and sent us to Dr. Popejoy at UC Davis. During this time, I broke my arm twice more, both times tripping as I ran. Most activities became restricted. Sports of any kind were out of the question. School was difficult but with missing class so often and the misunderstanding of those around me. The things they would say and do to me hurt more than a broken bone did, but I didn't show it. Many nights I fell asleep crying, feeling empty, broken, and confused. Then they scheduled my third surgery. I was nervous. The night before, I'd overheard my parents voicing their concerns, their fears, and their anxieties. All I wanted was to have my parents reassure me and fix all my problems like they used to when I was little. But I hid my fears, trying to be strong and brave for them because they didn't need me to add more to their worries. Right before they gave me the anesthesia, though, another girl was wheeled out from surgery. She had had a similar surgery to mine and was in so much pain she was screaming in agony. As this went on, they had administered a dose of anesthesia and as I slowly lost consciousness, I felt tears well up in my eyes. You truly never know what can happen in a few seconds. During the surgery, the anesthesia reacted strangely with my body, causing my breathing to become shallow and then my heartbeat to become almost non-existent. Even after the doctors stabilized my heartbeat, my body was in such shock that it took hours to wake me up. Throughout the rest of the day, I was in and out of consciousness, never really awake and aware for more than several minutes at a time. For the next couple of weeks, the pain was unimaginable. Simple tasks such as showering or even dressing were overwhelmingly hard and exhausting, so I relied completely on the help of my family. Today I consider this whole experience one of the greatest blessings in my life because of what it taught me. We are not defined by our circumstances but instead by our attitudes towards our circumstances. The scared, lonely girl I was before became banished. I finally realized that my circumstance, my medical condition, was not what defined me. My attitude changed, and so did I. I still live with my condition, and I will live with it for the rest of my life. That's something I cannot change. I will never have full rotation in my shoulder, any type of impact can possibly break my bone again, and sudden, inexplicable pain will continue to flare up at odd moments. But all of this is no longer something for me to fear, because I know the strength it has given me. Life is too short to waste not noticing the sunshine in every moment. After all, you still notice the beauty of a rose, even though it has thorns, right? Our lives are just like a rose, but sometimes we get caught up in the thorns. With the right attitude, we can begin to change and see the true beauty in anything, though. All it takes is a smile and an optimistic outlook. My experience could be considered one of the thorns in my life, yet it caused a newfound love and gratitude for every breath. 
Despite the pain, I was able to see the beauty, and being optimistic soon became a part of my nature. Now I see the beauty in most everything. Life isn't easy, it's not meant to be. But I know you can start to see the beauty in life too. All you need is to be optimistic. This, I believe.